Hello, this is Mike of Nearly Enough Dice, and this is the Kerbal Space Program. Right, uh, what are we looking at here? We're looking at a rocket. Uh, this rocket has a resource scanner because I've got a contract to go chuck a resource scanner into space. Uh, it's also, if I just bring up the contract, which may take a while because of what it seems to do. Uh, I also need to have a. It's way down. Uh, no. Mr. Goo unit, uh, accelerator, and resource survey scanner. And. No orbit. Where's the orbit? There's the orbit. It's this big blue one. Uh, which, as you can see, um, is going around this way. You can just about see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, on Kerbin to focus on Kerbin. Line up as best I can like that. Actually, if I'm probably, yeah. I want, the, I want the descending node to be as close to being in the middle of the visual representation of Kerbin as I can. And I was going to... Uh, zoom forwards. Which interestingly, resets my um, throttle to zero. It's rather interesting. No, wait, that's not interesting at all. That's because I hit the wrong key. There we go. Aha! Now that was me changing the zoom, uh, the the warp, and that did reset my throttle to zero. That's interesting. That's the thing that I've been trying to, that I've been having problems with. I've been launching this quite a few times. I've been having uh, a great deal of of aggravation with it. Um, for some reason, this, this particular rocket is very, very unstable, and all the various uh, permutations that I've um, tried to put together with this uh, rocket for this mission. And as it's reset my throttle, that's very interesting. Uh, the most recent thing I've done is I've added Werner engines. Just, I've been having real troubles with getting with uh, pants. I've not added enough. I've not. Uh, oh, that's really annoying. I've only added. T I thought I'd added Venom engines in groups of four, and I've only added them in groups of two, and that's not <sighs> right. I'm going to recover the vessel. Is what I'm going to do. Because that means that my time period is about right, so I'm not. I'll be able to go back into the VAB, fix that, and launch immediately because I'll be in the right time. Because uh, designing things in the VAB doesn't take any time. Oh, so aggravating. Right, so these Venom engines, I want to be in four times. There we go. And I'm trying to place them more or less centrally around the center of mass, even though, I mean, the center of mass is going to change as this rocket kind of drains. So let's see if I can get this thing into bloody orbit. It just has this, it just seems to be very, uns it, it just goes one way uh, as at launch. And I don't know why, because as far as I can work out, it's properly balanced. It just seems to go that way. Um, so I'm trying to add, I'm adding Werner engines to try and stop that. Now I'm just going to really... So I'm going to see if I can. Yeah. So I'm about lined up. I think I'm. I think I'm lined up right. So now I'm also going to try doing my my turnover, which is actually that way on your screen. Uh, I'm going to try doing my turnover later. Than you do uh, normally. Um,
normally I go at about um, 50 meters a second. But because my thrust to weight ratio is rather low to begin with. I'm going to let that build up. Uh, I also need to go, instead of just going straight east, I want to go east and south, which is off this way. Um, and that just adds another thing of complication. All right, it's being nice and stable now. Normally by now, with the previous launches, it, will already have, it would already have drifted off. So it's not doing that, which is nice. Oh, caps lock. very straight. I may have made this too stable. Bring it over. I don't know whether this is a problem with the... Um, yeah, that was too much. Um, Okay, this is better than I've been having before. Still a very steep ascent profile compared to what I would like. I'm going a lot faster because I haven't because I've been concentrating on the nav ball, I haven't been concentrating on speed at all, which I probably should have been. much more stable. I don't know if the Werner engines have fixed it, or whether it's the fact that I restarted the, ma the machine and maybe there was some kind of weird bug going on. Uh, uh, you can't see it, I've just deployed my um, fairings. I apologise if this happening at night. Um, oh, uh, okay. So I'm about right, actually. Oy. Okay. I've switched over to orbital, which is why um, I was suddenly very far off my um, prograde. So I might as well just keep going. What's my altitude? Right, so that's m I think it's time to more or less just head to the horizon. south than I'm going. This is all working nicely. I've, I had the most frustrating day yesterday trying to get this um, like flight after flight after flight after flight just not working. Okay, so that's the main stage gone. Now the hope is I've got enough Delta V left to do the rest of it. So let's just aim straight at the horizon. It's going to be enormously embarrassing if I if I just. completely fail uh, due to lack of Delta V.
See, my hope, my real hope, oh, this is not, oh, okay, I'm trying to work out whether I am going to, I am vaguely in line, I seem to be. Very really nice if you could if you could somehow um oh, it's gonna be close. Oh this is oh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. Very really nice if you could somehow target an orbit that you want. I'm going to make it. Oh, if I'm if I if I fail here, I'm going to be so cross myself. I failed. I don't have enough delta v. Oh, failure. Well, I mean, it may not be that I, ha you know, I don't have enough delta V. It may, it may actually be more that I just don't have enough, that my, my launch profile was really stupid and thus was doomed to fail. Don't know why I'm setting up. I'm. I'm. Don't know why I'm setting up the the maneuver nodes. However, I mean there is one thing which is um, before I was, just wasn't able to get this thing into orbit even slightly. Uh, so that's going. There'll be another six hundred odd delta v uh, out of the hundred and eighteen that I've got left. So I think that's a failure. I need more delta V. Okay, back to the proverbial drawing board. I'm just going to revert the flight and pretend that never happened, which is very bad of me. I do understand. I do know that. I mean, and it's not like I mean I spent a certain amount. Um, okay. Right now, mm. I did come up with a different um, design. Which I've helpfully called the, uh, the, the, the stupidly, um, stupidly large resource. scanner. Same thing, has the same instruments on it um, f because of the, the requirement of the contract. So there's an accelerometer on there and there's goo. Uh, you notice everything's, I've actually put more of everything on simply because um, I was worried about balance so, you know, So this is, I mean, the, the reason I made this so big, actually, was because of the fairings. I thought maybe it was the fairing that was causing me the problems. Uh, and because in the previous one, you saw the fairings went out and then back in again. And that might, you know, that, that coming back in again can, can cause aerodynamic problems. Uh, and so I thought, well, if I went with the next size up of fairings, it could just go straight up, right? So this is just a pointy rocket. Um, but this was also, this huge beast was also, um, this also had problems, this also didn't work. And would also just go off that way. I'm beginning to wonder if I had actually somehow gotten a bug, just, you know, the, the game wasn't working properly. That's center of mass. Uh, right, thing is I've got two sets of rockets here. So, 
where's the decoupler? Right, where's the center of mass of this? Center of mass of this is there. So if I want to use Werner engines on here, they go here as so. So basically I want them symmetrical around the center of mass. those in, and the center of mass is now down here, uh, uh, there oh that's gone back down to two-fold symmetry, and by interesting I mean really aggregating, I think ideally I want another set come just underneath, but unfortunately there are wings in the way, so I can't quite do that. This is ridiculously over-engineered, and I wanted to hit save and not anything else. Oh well. Now this actually has more stages. That last one had one stage, which is not necessarily the most efficient way of doing things. Um, I'm going to quickly check my relationship with the orbit, and I think that is, yep. And I've also got a more expensive um, SAS uh, control. Well, what am I trying to say here? Core, from my probe core is more um, expensive, so I can do like better maneuverings. Oh, heaven's sake, what is wrong with me? This should not work. Because I mucked up my staging immediately. Because I'm smart. Now this thing, this thing should have a pile of Delta B. But we, I guess we'll see what happens. Right, we're going to point prograde. And what I'm hoping is that prograde isn't going to fall towards the horizon too quickly. Which it is, so we're not going to point prograde anymore. Hopefully I'm going to be able to bring prograde up to where I want it to be, as opposed to, yeah, I'm, I'm pointing in a really stupid direction. I also want to go slightly more south than I am currently. Okay, so far so good. I'm not falling out the sky, which is nice. I'm also paying no attention to my thrust to weight ratio, which I really should be. And 
I'm immediately going over, you know, the 300 uh, meters a second that, that is always my bugbear. I always feel that I shouldn't go beyond that. Uh, there's the Werner engines coming in, which is nice. I noticed that the uh, prograde vector, no matter what it do, always sinks a bit, but that's okay, I think. I think I'm going in more, uh, okay, I could do a thing going more easterly. And I'm about to lose my first stage. And I have zero idea what this thing is going to do when I change stages. But I'm going to be high enough up that I hope that the atmospheric forces aren't going to be that awful. that prograde vector I'm under you now all right okay I need to go easterer I need to go a lot more easterer flat trajectory like that. Uh, I am going to declare that acceptable. Oh look at this, this is much, I'm liking this. Okay. Uh, right, so let's deploy that. Well, I'm not actually at, well, yeah. Although we're not actually out of the atmosphere, we're pretty close. <laughs> Periapsis, I'm not pointing quite the right direction for that, um, so it's going to depend on exactly how finicky uh, That's pretty good, that is pretty good Do I have enough? All of that. Oh, actually, let's, let's Look at this. 
much better. Okay, that may be that, that rocket may have been really ridiculously big and huge, but I don't care. Um, what I would particularly like to do is then is take that exact once I've got this orbit. Um, then uh, what I would like to be able to do is get into a polar orbit and do a polar scan, but I very much doubt that's a that's a possibility. Right, so I'm just going back down to the, 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 the contract. I have everything now except the orbit. So I have launched the correct thing with the correct things on it. Even if it's a ridiculously big item and is stupidly huge. I'm going to make it. That's all I care about. Seriously, I just had the worst time. I don't know what that, those two launches. Yeah, you know, the first one went wrong because it didn't have enough delta V. But it wasn't flipping out. And I don't know whether the Werner engines were helping or not because they weren't, I didn't see them do anything. I didn't see the Werner engines change anything. I just went in the right direction and it all worked fine. I just ran out of delta V. Um, And that that launch there was also way more stable than the one before that I that I'd done. Um, so I'm a little confused, to be perfectly honest. I'm just wondering if there was some kind of weird bug that had got into the system where things were unstable when they didn't really need to be, or whether I just needed a good night's sleep and just attack it again in the morning. Um, I don't really need precise data for them. Although precise node was very, very helpful in, um, well, setting my, my node. Uh, right, don't talk about things and watch the countdown at the same time or you'll just lose sight of the countdown. Because I would hate to get to this stage and then fail. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, so I really was not looking forward to having a go at this this morning. Because I was just like, it's going to go horribly wrong, I'm going to hate it, everything's just not going to work. Because that was what I had, to, I mean, I've got like five or six launch attempts accompanied by uh, quite a lot of me swearing <laughs> and not being sure why things weren't working but the exact same design and um, it in fact all worked lovely and I don't I don't quite understand why uh, I'm not objecting I'm not objecting at all it's all working so Ask me, got the orbit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I don't care about this orbit. Anything other than, um, you know, I get. I get the contract. So I'm just gonna. Now it, it's gone green. Fine. I don't care anymore. Yes, got the contract. Uh, worth 150. I spent about 50 getting up here, and that's not including the ones that I reverted to launch and never happened. So I made some profit. Just I could have made a lot more if I'd been able to use the previous rocket. But I don't care. How much have I got left in the tank? I have got some left in the tank. Is there any possibility of getting... Alright, let's deploy our solar panels. And hope... I suddenly realise... I hope they don't intersect the... Goo canisters that I put down, but apparently not. Did I put them in threes? I should have put them, I wanted to put those in fours. I mean, threes are all right, but... Man. That would explain why they're in such a stupid place. I, I think, I'm fairly sure 
I probably put them like not in the stupid place. These are a bit red. I wonder if I should put heat things on this. It looks like those panels are glowing red. But no, I don't think so. So I'm going to deploy this, even if it's completely useless. It's going to tell me that it's not. Um, actually, I don't know what it's going to do. Yeah. All right. So polar orbits. Uh, add maneuver. Bring up the maneuver. What's it? Um, we'll go to the ascending node. And this is just to see if I can do it. You know, I may well not be able to. Enthusiastic. Um, what, what, what would you take? How many? How many delta v's is that? No, nah, I can't do it. I might be able to take that. Um, well, actually, no. Because I can. This is actually taking delta v away. So I want that to be. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. I want to be about, it was, it was saying 150 kilometers. Let's ask it, I've forgotten already. Between 60k and, and oh, okay. I've got quite a, I've got a fair amount of, of um, leeway, I guess. So that is actually within. But the thing is, I need to, I need to, um, How much leeway do I have? Can I get in there? I'm keeping it, while keeping it, um, you know. So that will give me uh, three million, which is too much. I've got to bring that in. Get rid of the heat one. Post burn periapsis. Uh, it's got to be within 1,500 kilometers. But then I can bring that back. I don't think I can do it. doesn't look like it doesn't look like I can do it at all so if I want to do a resource scanner it looks like I'm gonna to have to send something up um, specifically for it possibly that same thing I could probably even do it with the original one that I had um, if I just send that on a polar orbit because I'm not trying to get ridiculously far out um, I may well be able to do that so anyway that took a long time that probably wasn't all that interesting. But, um, so let's get rid of that. What are you, Minmus Rescue? Yeah, we should probably deal with you at some point. Uh, another two days for Minmus Rescue turns up at Minmus, so I think that's probably going to be the next thing I'm going to do. Uh, but what is important is that I can go back to the Space Center and I've freed up another contract slot. Means I can I can choose uh, contracts to do. I think I've got two slots free. Yeah, look at that.
Uh, test the small landing gear orbiting the sun. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. Uh, where do you want to go? Moho? No. <laughs> Tourists. Uh, none. Duna? No. <laughs> Recover Sheena and her heat from orbit of the sun. That's quite a lot of money, but I suspect that uh, she's very far away because every time it's orbiting the sun yeah 20 years oh so they want the whole vessel mm, that's kind of tempting actually that's going to be hard though but I'll take it because it's going to it's going to expire soon so I'm going to take that one um, accelerometers. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that one. We'll do that one later. That's, that'll, that'll be relatively simple. Um, but the next thing to do is go do the Minmus rescue and finish that up. Uh, so until the, then, uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you've been enjoying these videos. Um, you can find Neil Elf Dice at neilelfdice.com, and we're also on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time. Reach of the stars.